In this hour, we heard from former Labor Secretary Robert Reich about several issues of critical importance to us today. He talked to us about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and we'll be saying more about that in a moment. He talked to us about expanding Social Security and how we can pay for it. And by the way, he gave me some very useful advice about how to answer conservative criticisms of the key provision for paying for expanding Social Security, which is lifting the payroll tax cap so that millionaires and billionaires pay as much percentage wise into the program as you and I do. So we thank uh, the former labor secretary for that. That was a great segment. We also heard in this hour from our good friend, Nancy Altman. Now Nancy has edited a new edition of Thomas Paine's uh, revolutionary pamphlet, agrarian justice. And she has written a foreword to that pamphlet, which ties together the foundational values, principles, and ideals laid out by this American, I think of him as the Ur blogger, the original blogger, this American pamphleteer who did so much to inspire people to the revolutionary side of the war. Now, uh, what Nancy did was she tied a lot of Thomas Paine's values, ideals, and ideas to the issues we're struggling with today in the social safety net and particularly in social security because, as Nancy said, People don't realize that in the 1790s, in the post-revolutionary era, Thomas Paine actually proposed Social Security. This kind of social program is bound into the DNA of who we are as a people. So we thank Nancy for that and would also like to reflect a little bit more on uh, Thomas Paine's principles, ideas, and sayings. We will be talking shortly in one of our upcoming hours with Ryan Grimm, Washington Bureau Chief of the Huffington Post, about an anti-slavery amendment that has been attached to the Fast Track Bill. That's the bill that greases the skids for this Trans-Pacific Partnership to be passed and take away a bunch of American jobs. So we'll be talking about the implications of that anti-slavery amendment. And, you know, it's ironic, to say the least, that we're in a situation where a bill that we're being told will help the middle class here and workers worldwide could be derailed by an an amendment that does nothing more than object to slavery. So I thought I would tie these two themes together in advance of Ryan Grimm's visit by quoting Thomas Paine himself on the issue of slavery. Now, as I do, I want you to bear in mind that Malaysia, which is the target of this anti-slave uh, slavery amendment, is actually very well known for child labor problems and child slavery problems, as well as uh, trans transportation of sex slaves and other forms of slavery as well. But especially with child slavery in mind, let's start with this Thomas Paine quote. Thomas Paine wrote that if the slavery of the parents be unjust, much more so is their children. If the parents were justly slaves, not that we think anybody is justly enslaved, and he didn't either, but if the parents were justly slaves, yet the children are born free, this is the natural, perfect right of all mankind. In other words, every child is born free. This is the natural, perfect right of all mankind. They are nothing but a just recompense to those who bring them up, meaning if we must be born into slavery, let our children be born free as a consolation. And as much less is commonly spent on them than others, they have a right in justice to be proportionately sooner free. In other words, why do we enslave children? Why do we tolerate the enslaving of children. Thomas Paine also said, so monstrous is the making and keeping of slaves at all abstracted from the barbarous usage they suffer. In other words, the bad treatment is horrible, but just the existence of slavery is monstrous and the many evils attending the practice. And then he lists so many of them, including selling husbands away from wives, children from parents and from each other in violation of sacred and natural ties. As Thomas Paine concludes, for all of which the guilty masters must answer to the final judge. Ponder this as we debate the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Ponder this as we debate Fast Track. Ponder this as we interview Ryan Grimm in that upcoming segment. How can we pass a bill that would tolerate slavery? It is not who we are. I am Richard 
RJ Escow, and this is The Zero Hour.